All right, guys. So it's been about two and a half hours now since I got back to the cabin. And when I got here, I immediately turned the Mr. Buddy heater on full power and started a fire. And just now we have a decent temperature of about 74 degrees, give or take. And we've just, uh, keep in mind, we've been gone for about two days and the temperature outside has been about 20 below. So this thing was an ice box when I got here. But anyways guys, I'm going to go and chop some wood for the fire. My hands aren't that bad. In fact, only this one is the one that's given me any issues at all. And it doesn't really have any pain at all. And then I'm going to clean this cabin up a bit because it's getting a little bit messy. And I'll show you a time lapse of that. So check it out. Our poor van's not going to be able to get out of this spot until late spring. What do you guys think? Why don't you leave your guess in the comments section of what the date would be when we can get this van out of our yard and out traveling again. Alright, the fire is nice and stoked. It's roaring pretty hotly. This is the remainder wood I got. So off to go chop some more wood, guys. Well, everyone, we are on our way back to the shed today and we found a little baby kitten on the side of the road. It was on the highway and it was stuck on the highway. It couldn't get off the road because the snow drifts were too high and it was up against the snow drift. We, are, we called uh, animal control and told them where we found it and apparently they said since it wasn't in city limits that they can't take it. So we're just kind of trying to figure out what to do with it. I would like to keep it around here for, you know, keeping the mice down and stuff. It tends to be really friendly. Arcade is trying to hump her. <laughs> I think it's a girl. But see what that, is? it's trying to be friendly with Arcade right there. So it's a really friendly cat. Feel bad for it being out here in this 20 below weather. So Kristen ran out of town. She's gonna get some food for it. We're still debating on what we're gonna do with it. But Nina's got a little friend in the meantime. Well, the cat is lounging on the dog bed next to Nina. He's really taken a liking to Arcata. It's just kind of figuring what's going on with everything. Poor little girl. I think it's a girl. But she's really nice. We're going to put a for free giveaway ad on Facebook tonight to see if anybody will take her. But she is really sweet. Well, we got Three's company. There's a little kitten sandwiched between two of our puppies. The cat thinks she is right at home. I wish we could keep her. But it gets just too darn cold out here. And we want to travel, and it's kind of hard to travel with cats. I know Nomadic Fanatic can do it, but... Two dogs and a cat. That'd be pretty extreme, I think. But you guys let, let me know in the comment section what you think about the cat. What you think of the situation. What you think we... Okay, just a quick update on this little gato right here. First of all, it's just munching the food like crazy it's ever since we got it. The dog's bowl, I don't know, was... Had a nice scoop of food in there and... That little guy, girl, I think it's a girl, she ate all that food, and I gave her a dog treat, and she 
orgasmically ate that thing. I mean, there was like rawr, 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 type sounds while she was eating it. So she was pretty hungry. But she really loves Arcada. Arcada is her mommy for the meantime. And we did put a ad out on Facebook, or Chris, Kristen does. And almost immediately, one of her friends who coincidentally also has a camper van who they are fixing up at the moment and uh, wanting to get going by this spring asked about this little kitty here and said she was interested and she wanted some pictures sent to her we did that and we're still kind of waiting for a reply back so yeah in the meantime our is going to be your mom and we'll let you know when we finally figure out what this cat's future is Can you spot Nina underneath the cabinet? Good boy, good boy.